What's up with it, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Hancho, and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Today, we're going to be doing our second installment of Trust or Bust, and today's football player that we're going to be analyzing is Damon Arnett. Now, this isn't just a Trust or Bust segment because the question everybody really wants to know is, does Damon Arnett suck? Okay, and we're going to be hopefully to put some context to all his stats and all his plays this year and come up with an answer for you, okay? So, let's get right into it. And I'll let you know that grading DBs is always a soft spot for me because I'm a former DB and I just know it takes a particular type of individual and animal to play defensive back, especially in the NFL, because to me, defensive back is the hardest position you can play in the NFL. I mean, you got to guard the fastest guys on the field, you have no idea where they're going, and you can't fucking touch them. So we're going to try to put everything into perspective, and uh, let's see. Let's see what I come up with, okay? So Damon Arnett was drafted in the first round with the number 19th overall pick by the Las Vegas Raiders. And needless to say, his stats are very underwhelming, okay? Damon Arnett tallied 32 total tackles, 25 solos, 13 missed tackles, and no interceptions, okay? Now, when you break down the 32 tackles, 25 solo, 13 missed tackles, I really don't care about none of that because I wouldn't pay a corner to make tackles, okay? That's what I got linemen for. That's what I got linebackers for. I even rather my safeties be making tackles than my corners. My corners have to be skilled guys that can match up with wide receivers and stop deep threats. And with that being said, Damon Arnett gave up zero touchdowns, okay? Now, even though he didn't give up any touchdowns, he did give up 26 passes on 32 targets, okay? So the percentage is not that good, but he didn't really get beat deep. Okay, now some of you might point to the Miami game where it looked like he just was in terrible coverage and got fucking smoked. But in reality, they were playing a cover two base, which means the corners have the flat and the safeties have help over top 50% of the field each. Okay, so what you want to do as a corner in that position is you want to have the flat. So you have usually 12 yards back to the line of scrimmage. And what Damon Arnett did in that situation that was wrong is usually when there's no flat threat, the cornerback will carry the receiver into the secondary, into the deeper half of the field for the safety. Damon Arnett didn't do that. Damon Arnett played the cover two like almost like a high school or college cover two where you kind of jam the receiver, you let him go, and then you stay into your zone to guard the flat. So the only mistake he made was he just should have carried the receiver. But in all reality, that was a terrible defense call, and the safety who was in there was actually Isaiah Johnson, who's a corner. So it was just it was just doomed from the, from the jump, okay? That was just a fucked up play. But if you look at Trayvon Mullen on the other side, he did it the right way. He carried the receiver through the zone because there was no flat threat. Okay, now... With all that being said, he was ranked or he was graded at a 41.7 by PFF, which is either last or very close to last. So when you look at the numbers and you look at the grade, it wasn't good. And you're asking yourself, well, Raider Hancho, he has to have been a bust, right? And I'm going to disagree with you. I do not think that Damon Arnett is a bust. And you might be like, well, how the fuck is that possible if you thought Henry Ruggs was a bust, but you don't think Damon Arnett is a bust? Let me explain to you, okay? Damon Arnett was picked at 19, okay? You don't usually draft a corner, right, and expect him to be the end-all, be-all of your secondary. You don't expect a first-year guy, unless you're Charles Woodson, you don't really expect your first-year guy to be able to just go from college in the Big Ten to be matching up against the world's greatest wide receivers. It's a learning curve there. And when you think about the learning curve, you have to think about experience. Damon Arnett only started seven games. He played in nine. But even out of those nine games that he played in, he got injured in two of them. He was out within the first series against Atlanta and I believe very early against the Jets with concussions. So when you think about the fact that he only played nine games, he came into the season with either a, a fucked up wrist, then he ended up breaking his thumb, and then I think he has three concussions. The motherfucker might have more than that. I don't even know, but he always looked dazed and confused out there. So when you think about the experience and the time on task, it just wasn't there for him. He didn't get enough reps to even grow into the position, right? So... When you think about he was drafted at 19, some of you might think that was a reach. Some of you might say, well, that's a reach. At 19, he wasn't even... Look, at the end of the day, you have to understand something about the draft where he was drafted in. The Raiders didn't have a second-round pick, okay? So even if you had Arnett graded in the second round, which most people did, either mid-second round or late first round, you weren't going to be able to get him in the third round. 
So you have to think of it like whoever the Raiders were going to pick there was going to be a reach because they had no picks in the second round, right? So if you feel like Arnett was your guy and you had him ranked 35, well, you're not going to have a 35 in the in the draft, okay? You're only going to get first round and third round. So you were going to have to reach in order to get the guy you wanted. So I give them a pass. Now, another, another pass that I give Arnett that I don't give Henry Ruggs is that Ruggs was drafted into an offense that was already rolling. The, the Raiders had a top 10 offense last year. So he just had to step in and do what he was supposed to do, and he didn't. Arnett was drafted into a fucking shithole. It was a cesspool of players. I mean, this defense is god-awful. If you, if you don't know, you can check out my video, How Bad Was the Raiders Defense in 2020, and you will see that I can't even give... Arnett a solid grade because it's like, I don't even know if it was him or it was the system or if it was the scheme or whatever the case may be. They have a new defensive coordinator now, and I would like to see what Arnett does because Arnett possesses something that I'm not sure Ruggs does, and that's the fact that he's a fucking dog. Like, Arnett is a dog. I'm a Michigan fan, so I watched Arnett play plenty of times, and he's a fucking dog, okay? So I think that Gus is going to put him in a position to let that dog off the leash and let him go make plays, okay? You cannot call somebody a bust that was drafted 19 and only played in nine games and was battling injuries the whole time, okay? So I do trust that Damon Arnett is going to be good. Now, do I think that they've reached a little where they picked him? Yes, but at the end of the day, you weren't going to be able to get a good corner after that anyway, you were going to have to reach at some point to get Damon Arnett because you didn't have a second round pick. All right. And for those reasons, I do believe that Damon Arnett is a trust. OK, because we didn't draft him thinking he was going to be Charles Woodson. We didn't even draft him thinking he would be better than Trayvon Mullen. OK, you picked Trayvon Mullen in the second round, which is probably where you would have picked Arnett. But without the second round pick, you had to take a reach for him. OK, so. If you disagree with me and you think Damon Arnett is a bust, hey, I'm always down to talk about it in the comments. So leave me something down in the comments section. Let me know what you think about Damon Arnett and the possibility of him being a bust or somebody you trust going forward, okay? So if you like the video, if you like the content, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for the notifications so when I drop something, you get it first. And until the next time, Raider Honcho out.